Buffalo Church. Today I want to talk about giving our best to the Lord. The Bible is full of calls to give to the Lord with a grateful heart. And one of these is found in Isaiah chapter 66, which contains an admonition from God towards the Israelites and guidance for how they should give their offerings. It says, All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. Right after the fall, the book of Genesis documents that man's first struggle was not giving property properly to the Lord, uh, as evidence in the story of Cain and Abel. Paul also told the Corinthian church that each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This calling is not only about money or burnt offerings, but about the first fruits of each and every portion of our lives. We are called to cheerfully give our time, resources, effort, emotions, and energy each and every day to live out God's calling. One of my favorite verses in the entire Bible is Colossians 3.17, and it says, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This command is an echo of what Jesus urged in Matthew 5.23, where he said, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. It is important for us to have our personal lives in check before we try to offer up something to God that is not coming forth from what we have been living Monday through Saturday. Our worship and our giving must be backed by our lifestyle and our influence. Jesus said, whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. C.S. Lewis once said, every Christian is to become a little Christ. And if we are truly Christians, we are to become miniature versions of Christ. Titus 2.14 describes Jesus, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. Little Christs, this is how we are to act, this is how we are to be. How we should give should be an example of how we live. These two should be equivalent to each other, or else we are obeying the same way the Israelites did in Isaiah 66. Thank you, can't wait to see you.